Hi right, folks, it's Kieran here. Today's video, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna try and do a front side shove it off of this box ledge thing. Uh, never done this before, never done a front side shove it down anything, despite the fact I've been doing front shoves for absolutely ages. Um, if you follow the channel, you might see my recent video where I was working on them in flat ground. Up until like the start of this year, my front shove it's have just gone to hell in a fancy hat. They were really, really awful. So I've been practicing them a lot, feeling good with them. And uh, I want to start taking them down things. Now, it would make more sense to go and try it off of a curb first because it's lower. Um, but I'm at the park. We've got this box and I think I can do it. I feel confident that, you know, if I if I really commit myself to trying it, I will be able to do this. So, yeah, that's the plan. That's enough waffle. Um, I'm just going to ollie off it a few times just to I don't know, get used to it. I've done that hundreds of times before. I don't know why I need to get used to it, but let's do it anyway. And then we'll just jump straight into the front side shelves. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to put one down. That felt really good, really, really good. Happy with that. Um, that went down pretty quick. I figured it would go one way or the other. I'd either come quickly or I'd be battling it for ages. So stoked that it came pretty quickly. Took a couple of meaty ones. Um, that's just that. That's just from the fact that I don't jump down stuff very often, like at all, really. To be honest, I've only ever ollie or maybe do a front one eighty, and it's so rare that I actually jump off anything. Because um, when I'm landing, my my weight's kind of like in those weird positions that you get away with on flat ground, but. Just that little bit of height and momentum and you just wash out on it but whew, super super stoked felt so good as well Probably like, whoa, whoa. i better watch it back and i'm disgusted with it but all good happy for now right you guys know the rule to make you true so uh let's try and grab another one that one was ugly let's do it again There we are people, managed it six times in the end. I wanted a couple of extra angles and there's a couple of angles where I landed the first one kind of scrappy. So I did it again, just to make sure we got it absolutely mint. Super stoked with that, like they felt really good. Felt like the ones I was really landing well were proper boltsy and sort of like slamming them down. It is nice when you take a trick that you can do regularly or on flat ground and take it off something slightly taller, you do get that like extra floaty feeling and you can really slam it down. So yeah, stoked with that. Um, I suppose the next step like, I want to sort of maybe take it to like a two stair or three stair or whatever um see if i can do it down that and yeah just keep progressing the front shove until we can kind of find that that maximum level that i can jump down um the other thing is i'll come back to this block and do this again with some more tricks in the future um there are other flat ground tricks that i'd like to take down stuff that i never have that we need to to come down and work on so yeah all in all though, super, super stoked. I felt really good. I'm gonna try and make a point of every time I come down here, trying to just do that like once or twice, just to sort of like keep in the rhythm of it and just kind of get used to it. I'm gonna start treating this, like jumping off this as part of my session, not just as something that I do every now and again. So yeah, all in all, stoked. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any tips, comments, thoughts, leave it down below. I appreciate all of it. Um, don't forget to drop a little like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And you can keep watching me with my progression and pushing myself on skating because that's what I want to do this year. I really want to focus on pushing myself and progressing forward. I feel like I didn't really do that last year, kind of stagnated a bit. So this year is all about trying to just carve a path forward. I've used these first couple of months to sort of get my rhythm back a little bit. And uh, But as we get into spring and summer, I really want to just push myself forward and forward and keep getting better and better. So, yeah, that's it. Cheers, guys. Take care.